Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with my vlog for January 2022. This is going to be part one of a multi-part look at the Evil Rangers concept from Power Rangers and Super Sentai, comparing the two and detailing how they're different per individual source for those that share the same suit. So, part one is going to feature the main Evil Ranger concept from the Power Rangers series from Mighty Morphin all the way through to Beast Morphers. As you can see, I've got the bookended Lightning Collection Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, and Cyber Villain Blaze from Beast Morphers here with me as a show of what these kinds of Rangers look like. Starting with Mighty Morphin, the Green Ranger was created by Rita Repulsa from a Dragon Zord power coin that was stolen from Zordon 10,000 years ago and never put to use until now. This is where Tommy Oliver, the most famous of all Power Rangers, comes into play, as he was enslaved by Rita's evil magic to become the Green Ranger. After the Red Ranger destroyed the Sword of Darkness, Tommy became the good Green Ranger and joined the rest of the team. But Lord Zed, Rita's husband, later ended up cloning Tommy to create an evil Green Ranger after Tommy got the White Ranger powers in Season 2. And then, of course, there was also the, yeah, Shadow Rangers concept that shows either black suited or desaturated color variants of the Ranger suits used for evil. Turbo and Wild Force are good examples of this. I'll detail these minor appearances more in a future vlog because there's too much to cover in one video. So, moving on, the next truly evil ranger was the, yeah, group of the Psycho Ranger androids from Power Rangers in Space. I'll detail my Japanese counterparts in the Super Sentai vlog next month. Basically, the Psycho Rangers were color-coded to the Power Rangers in Space ranger suit powers. There was supposed to be a Psycho Silver, but that was actually just a disguise by the actual Silver Ranger to infiltrate the Psycho Rangers from within. The next time we would see the Rangers combating an evil force against themselves would be in Ninja Storm, when the Thunder Rangers were enslaved by the evil Space Ninja Lothor at first, but then they too turned good. Then, of course, Dino Thunder had the White Ranger at first, but he too turned good, so he was cloned and such like. The clone storyline in Dino Thunder is because the White Ranger's counterpart from Super Sentai, Abare Killer, was still evil for longer in the stock footage than the White Ranger was in Dino Thunder as a character. So they had the clone fill out the rest of the stock footage for the evil Abare Killer parts of the Abare Ranger stock footage. Although that was actually two clones because the first was destroyed by the Triassic Ranger in the Triassic Triumph story arc. The second was finally defeated in a final confrontation confrontation with a real White Ranger towards the end of the show. Then, in SPD, there was the A-Squad, the original group of Power Rangers designed to protect the Earth, but they were lost in a mission on Deep Space and got hypnotized by Emperor and Grom to turn against SPD. Then, of course, there was Korag the Nightwolf from Mystic Force, who was the wolf warrior and husband of the White Mystic Ranger and father of the Red Ranger, who was corrupted by evil long, long ago before the series began. Of course, you know the story by now. They all turn good in the end, unless they're destroyed. Operation Overdrive, Mystic Force, and such like also had uh, evil copies of the Ranger suits turning against the Rangers at one point. And of course, there was also the Spirit Rangers from Jungle Fury, who were temporarily hypnotized by Dai Sheen to turn against the Rangers that created them. The Bat, Elephant and Shark Rangers were manifested from the Senseis that taught the Rangers how to use those animal spirit techniques. There weren't any evil Rangers in RPM or Samurai apart from the occasional mind control issue, but of course in Super Megaforce the Robo Knight from Megaforce was corrupted by the evil alien Armada at one point. He got better though, as they all do. The final true evil Ranger was Cyber Villain Blaze here from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Blaze was originally supposed to be the real Red Ranger, but then he got corrupted at the last minute by the Evox virus, along with his friend Roxy, who was supposed to be the Yellow Ranger. They both got cyber villain, sort of cyberspace duplicates for most of the series, and then they became robots after they were destroyed. I'll go more into detail about the minor Evil Ranger counterparts, like Putty Patrol clones and such like, in another video, because otherwise these will take too long. Until then, I've been Soundblaster1987, and my next review will be Beast Wars Metals Quick Strike. 
My next vlog in February 2022 will be detailing the main evil rangers of Super Sentai. Until then, till all are one, and may the power protect you, always.